like I want to share, like, just for you, just to finally get back on the field. I like, guess what's it like just to know that you're healthy and you're able to kind of Yeah, it's, it's, been a, it's been a real long time coming. Got hurt in high school, obviously, then got hurt in the fall camp last year. So it's been a while since I've gotten to play, but spring ball today was great and it feels good to get back out here. Sean Dillon, the Rocket pregame. How do you feel now that you're back, you're going full, full thing? And that first pass, how did that first pass feel today? I mean, I don't want to say it's like riding a bike, but it kind of is. You know, you've been working all off season, getting right, and then when you're finally out here with all your teammates, it just feels perfect, and you're just back in your element. Jeff McGuire with Double T 97.3. Uh, the starting quarterback has not been named yet. There's not even a lead dog at this point. As the new guy coming in, what does that do for your mentality coming in, knowing that you've got a shot at it? I mean, yeah, it's straight competition every day, every rep, every practice. You know, just come out and do the best you can, and you don't have to worry about the end. It'll decide itself. So, I think every day it's just a grind, and we're just figuring it out. Don Williams with the Lubbock Avalanche Journal. How long do you feel like it'll take you to? Make a certain part of play a game for a couple of years to kind of get the timing back, with, timing down with receivers, that sort of thing. Yeah, I mean, obviously we worked on this in the past couple of months, but I think by the end of fall camp or spring ball, I'll have it down and we'll be back to normal. So I'm really looking forward to these next couple of weeks, and it'll be really good for me. And considering, kind of like we asked Alan, obviously being a competitor was what's it like when you're out there on the sideline of your team, both at Central two yeah. years ago and here. I mean, God, it sucks being on the sideline. There's nothing worse than watching your team go out there and ball out. But, I mean, you have to be the leader on the sidelines as you are a leader on the field. So, I mean, there's nothing really different except you're not on the field. you got to be a vocal leader. You stand up for whoever's down, whoever's up. So you got to be the middle guy. What did you What did you get accomplished when you uh, – because I guess you were back practicing in November. Mm -hmm. What were you able to kind of get done then? Um, a lot of mental reps. It's everything. I mean, you're in every meeting, every rep you're getting. It's just mental. You're just not on the field doing it. So just improving your mental game is just as important as um, physically doing it. So. What did you work on most this offseason getting ready for camp? Just, you know, I haven't been able to run properly and run right. So just doing that and getting back in my steps, routine, just everything's getting under my hips and doing everything right. So how did that your entry happen last in August? Take a bad so it, step or contact, yeah, it was contact. a bad step. Landed completely wrong. I was just kind of in the air and came down wrong and rolled it and broke my fifth metatarsal. So, was it left or right? My left foot. So somebody tackle you? Or? It was like really weird deal actually. In the pocket, threw a ball. I was kind of like I jumped in the air a little bit and somebody just kind of landed and I under me underneath my foot, so I landed wrong. Yeah. Anything else?